Hello everyone, this is Aaron Carlino from Left in Maine. I'm here to show you today a new project that I've been working on called Uploadify. This tutorial will take place in three different parts. I have three different things to show you in this module, but first I'll just tell you a little bit about it. And this first part will be an introduction to this module and basic usage in the back end. Uploadify is a file upload component for Silverstripe. It uses a flash component to upload files and it works much the same way as Swift Upload. I did author a module called Swift Upload a while ago and have been maintaining it for a while, but I've decided that uh, it suffered a number of, of issues and it was becoming uh, difficult to support and I could see that it really wasn't going to be able to be extendable uh, much longer. So I started looking around for other alternatives to Swift Upload and I found a jQuery plugin called Uploadify and I've ported that over to Silverstripe. The advantage to using an Uploadify field versus a Swift Upload field is that it integrates pretty seamlessly into your back-end forms and your front-end forms and it's very easy to use and the code is a lot cleaner and it's more stable and secure. If you're new to flash uploading you should know that the advantages to using a flash upload tool versus a regular HTML file input is that it can do things that a normal HTML form can't do, such as displaying upload progress, uploading multiple files at once, or interrogating file types within the dialog box to gray them out so that they can't be uploaded. And those are just some of the things you'll see in a Flash component that you don't see in a regular file input. So let me just go right to our test page here. I have a test upload page and I'll show you how this works. I have two tabs here, one for upload one and one for upload many. Let's look at the upload one. Here we have the, the main interface for an Uploadify field. You'll see we have a choice between upload new or choose existing, just like a regular Silverstripe file iframe field. I've chose to enable upload folder selection on this Uploadify field. That can be disabled if you like. And I can also even create a new directory on the fly. And so now I've changed my directory and I've added a new folder at the same time. In this case I already have a file attached but let's see if we can replace that. This appears to be a large file. Now the file has been attached to that form field. Just like in a regular iframe field, I do need to save and publish, or just save if that's the case, to assign the relationship to my page, otherwise it won't work. You'll lose that file. So let's look at the Choose Existing tab. We can choose from all the folders that are in my Assets directory, and there's the one I already used. Let's look around for another one here. We'll choose this image just like that. This works the same for the upload many except we're going to be allowed to select multiple files. And there are all my files. Now because I have the sortable data object installed with the data object manager package, I can sort these files. You may be wondering why there are two uh, delete buttons on each file, and the answer is that one of them will remove a file and delete it at the same time, and the other is just to remove it from this particular page. Sometimes you don't want to delete the file, you just want to delete the relationship. If I go to choose existing on an, a many file uploader, you'll see that I get checkboxes instead of radio buttons. So it's really easy to use in the back end and it's a lot cleaner than using a file iframe field and it has a lot of advantages in that you can manage multiple rela relationships and sele selecting the upload folder on the fly is really useful as well. Let's look at how this works in the code level. Here I have my job application page that we're currently managing, and I have a regular file relationship for resume and one for recommendations. 
You might be wondering why I'm assigning recommendations to a new file class called recommendation file and not just file. And the difference is that with a has many relationship, you need a foreign key on the child object to refer back to the parent, unlike a has one relationship where the foreign key is on the parent table. So in order to do that, we would actually have to decorate the Silverstripe file class, or we could just do something simple like create a subclass of file and assign that relationship, as you can see here in my recommendation file class. I've just given it a has one to job application page, along with a few other test classes I'm working on. So getting to the getCMS fields function, it's easy enough just to add file upload field and multiple file upload field to manage those two relationships in the code. You will never see a, a, file, a, a file upload object called uploadify field, and that's because uploadify field itself is an abstract class that serves as a parent to all the other uploadify field types. There's also image upload, uh, image upload field, multiple image upload field as well for managing just images, and the only difference with those is that it just filters out everything but JPEG, GIF, and PNG. I've chosen to enable upload folder selection for both of those objects that is off by default. And there are a number of other things I can do to set different variables and configuration level properties for uploadify field. They can be set globally or at the instance level, and all of that is in the documentation. I should also make clear at this point that all of this code will be available for download at my website left in main. So that concludes this part of the Uploadify tutorial. In the next section, we're going to talk about how to build a front-end form using Uploadify fields to manage file relationships. So stay tuned for that, and I'll see you in part two.